Hello guys, what if you love the classical cars, you love the Mercedes Benz, you want a car that in the near future most probably will be like a proper classic and everybody would love to have this car in their garage, you want a car as well that has low mileage, in this case you have not a lot of option if as well you like the roadsters you have only the mercedes-benz 300 sl 24 from 1992 that we have today for the review and i would like to thank timeless automobile ltd company for providing me with the experience of reviewing this nice classic good looking car As a new way of making the videos, today we're gonna make it in a different way. This is Mercedes-Benz 300SL24 from 1992. This is the model R129 that replaced the model R107 in 1989. And uh, this model was produced from 1989 until 2001, of course, with uh, different facelifts and etc. But in general, like it was produced for 12 years. This car is uh, appreciated by the man and as well by the woman. And I'll give you a specific example. So, not exactly the 300 SL24, but the 500 SL has a specific history. And the history is related to Princess Diana of Wales when she sold her Jaguar XJS in order to buy the Mercedes 500 SL. Can you imagine a royal family member that bought a foreign car and especially a Mercedes that will look the same as this car? Okay, there will be a little bit a different engine, but in general, it will look the same as this car. And it seems the royal family and the Princess Diana did know why she need to sell her Jaguar XJS and why she need to buy a Mercedes-Benz R129 model. Just look at these lines. The way they did it, it looks fantastic. As you see, based on the look, this car is based more on the Mercedes W124 that we had for that period, and it looks fantastic. It was offered like a roadster, but you have another two seats in the back from the factory, and as well, you have seat belts for the factory. The main question, like, who will fit there? You are taking the car when you have a very nice day outside. It's not usual practical to use it in a day by day. Of course, only if you are one person, you like the classic cars, and it doesn't matter that you don't have a lot of boot space and you're not going to the shoppings. Not a lot of It's time. a genuine car, but there are some minor changes. If you see here, these lights are changed. In general, they should be yellow, but they are being changed to the white one. And this one, it looks even better because it's going with the same silver color of the car. And I do think you're gonna like it. And as well, you have the headlight wipers that will wipe your headlight, whatever you need it. Wheels are not original, but it's not a problem. So let's discuss about the rooftop. When the car came, you paid 55,000 pounds in order to own one of these cars, a Mercedes-Benz R129. And look at it, it's like, um, hydraulic electronic operated rooftop that can be taken out whatever is necessary but mercedes r129 will not be this type of the car if at the moment when they sold the car the car was coming with two rooftops this one the material one and in the same time you have another hard rooftop that can be mounted on this fabric rooftop in order to give you even a better insulation and I will show it you right now. 
Uh, we all know that you love to see how the rooftops are going down and going up and as well how do you mount the other one but do not get me wrong the second rooftop even it's like a hard top it's kind of not easy to mount it's not a one-man job you need two persons to do it and that's why we're gonna show it right now how to do it You take the hard top, of course, you put it on the car, you press the button and the car will, voila, it's ready. This is the way to go. Fantastic, lovely, beautiful car. We don't have a wiper here, so how do you clean your window when you need it? In this case, Mercedes-Benz said you take, you put the hard top on one, you take these connectors, you connect them in this specific spot and the rear window will be heated. So if you have a heated rear window, basically it will clean by itself. So let's go back to the engine. Here we have a three liter straight six petrol engine that have 24 valves. And what's interesting about this engine, it was mounted on Mercedes R129 from 1989 until 1992 only. And what's interesting about this engine, that the, it's the most high-end rev of the, all the engines that were mounted on the Mercedes R129. The engine can go up to 7,000 rotation per minute and it's producing 231 horsepower with 272 Newton per meter torque. And more than sure you're gonna enjoy all the power that the engine will provide to you. Unfortunately, this engine is not the most fuel efficient engine. In the back of the car, you have 80 liters of the petrol capacity fuel tank. And in the same time, uh, it will consume in the city from 15 up to 19 liters per 100 kilometers. At the moment when the car came out, it was going up to 240 uh, kilometers per hour and is going even right now. And up to 100 kilometers, you're gonna go in 8.1 seconds. Mercedes and in order to open it you need to press the button like, press the button hold it and you lift up the the back door from the trunk and it's very heavy concerning the size you need more like a weekend bags it's only 260 liters like it's the same on the Mercedes-Benz SLK 200 that I previously reviewed as well in the back as you see we have the wind splitter you can take it off from the trunk and you can mount it in the back of the car, especially from this side and from the other, and from the other side. So it will not destroy how they call your coiffure while driving the car. So dear all, as you see, we're right now outside and uh, it's a sunny day as usual in Cyprus and we're still in October, at least the end of the month. We'll see how it did the next one. And let me tell you more about the way how the car is inside. Uh, from this side, you have the nice interior. The interior in the Mercedes R129 is constructed and made very well. It's made to last. So here you have the soft touch materials on the door panels as well here it's all somehow like it perforated is giving you like a more luxurious way of uh, um, experience from this side you have then like carpet carpeted like panels of the 
of the door and you don't have it only from this side it's as well from the driver's side and believe me it feels nice yes it feels very nice you know like it's not the same um, cheap plastic from uh, other cars as well from the driver and for the passenger side you have the adjusted uh, car seat for both the uh, passenger and the driver uh, you see the mercedes r129 was the first car not the first mercedes but the first car who came with the seat belts integrated inside of the car seat as you see here you don't have anything that will hold a headrest as unusual other cars modern cars it is integrated inside of the seat and as well the seat belts is integrated in the car seat the seat are comfy they are really really comfy so it's uh, a pleasure to drive it on the long distances as you see the nice touch materials are also on the glove box and you have two of them it's one here and as well the other one if you press here you can have all the i don't know some small things uh, maybe pens to put there everything is a touch lever uh, the rest one everything is carpeted like the for the front seat for the driver's seat even the door mats are really nice materials like you don't see it every day in every car as well in the back everything is carpeted and it's really a nice touch so uh, you see the class it's uh, you see why this car cost uh, 50,000 55,000 um, pounds at the moment when the car was uh, bought uh, what I forgot to tell you from uh, each side for the driver side and as well for the passenger side you have one two three speakers for your music as you see um, this one is not original it was replaced with the aftermarket sound system as you saw on the passenger side and on the driver side is the nice logo of mercedes-benz that it's still looking new like it, you see it. that's why it's like a more a uh, car that you use in the weekends you don't use it like every day um, the same speakers from this side but you have also free memory seats that you can use it whatever you feel it necessary in the front for the drivers i have plenty of space like um for my uh, give me a second i'll try to for my size of one meter 85 centimeters i'm kind of feeling very well okay the seat is going right behind like really at the end and that's why i'm feeling very well inside for the steering wheel you have the electrical adjustment so you can you adjust your electrical you can adjust your steering wheel like up down in front and back and as well uh, here you have the classical gauge, gauge control where you can see the mileage the speed your the revs and as i told you this engine revs up to seven thousand uh, rpm it's a nice good looking like the 19th car with everything you need in general from um, and really i think you enjoy it. from uh, this side you have the four speed automatic gearbox as well you have the option to get your windows up and down electronically from both sides and the magic button this is like the button that will help you can close or mount it up the material roof uh, or as well if you want to um, basically to hard top to mount it on the place you can press the button and it will be fixed on the place another thing that you see here it's like for the owners who own this car you can decide if you want by pressing the button you can decide if you want to have the roof uh, you have the roll bar like put it down and you take all the danger on yourself if somehow it's something happened or you can press the button and to leave it all the time down so like a very simple button working and just just in case even i think look even sicker if you leave the roll bar on and the last and not the least like let's go for a quick ride uh, i'm gonna um, tell you all my um, how do you feel while driving the car and um, i hope you're gonna enjoy it. so let's go for a ride this lovely mercedes 300 sl24 r129 the extra fancy roster of the 90s
I am more than sure that you saw this car previously in the Hollywood movies and this car more often was driven by the Wall Street Wolves or how they call them there. Kind of unique feeling as this car is turning heads and more importantly it is giving the feeling that the car costs more than it does in reality. Taking this in consideration, let's go to the driving side. And I almost forgot about one of the principal points related to the car, and this is the safety. Believe it or not, I tried to find out the information about it, and the only thing that I found out is that they are safe and have a lot of things implemented in it. I think it's true if they gave the option for the owners to drive if they want without the roll bar. Well, brakes, normal for that age, they'll brake predictable and smooth but not comparable with the new Audis where you press the stop pedal and you literally stop in place. If you come from a Japanese car or older European cars, you'll not have any problems in handling it. Suspension, smooth and balanced. Take in consideration that this is a roadster, Grand Tourer if it's possible to name it like that. It was made basically for you to drive it, not being late somewhere. But if you are late somewhere and you need power and torque, be sure that the engine will provide it, as it is a 3 liter straight 6 engine. Handling. It is well, it is like a big ship, big ship, not boat, with two car seats. Oh, sorry, two car seats plus two nobody will fit car seats in the back. Oh yeah, predictable. Gearbox. 4 speed automatic gearbox. Simple, predictable and smooth. But you remember that it is hard enough to handle the 7000 RPMs of the engine. Acceleration of 7.9 seconds, that is very good even for now age. Consumption, as I said, is big. Everything that is more than 10 liters in nowadays, it's big. Here we have from 15 to 19 liters in the city and this is a lot. So as a weekend car, something to show to your friends, it is okay. But as a daily commute, depends how deep your pocket is for the gas. It is in the end a straight liter straight six engine. And the car sounds nice, especially when driving fast, but I'll not be able to show it, as it seems that I still learn how to use the external microphone with the camera. Gosh, this is embarrassing. In rest, I could say that this is a nice car to own, a classic, a head turner that will bring a smile to your face when taken out for a drive. And the last and not the least is the Victorioso score. And the overall score for the car is this one. For more information why it's like this, check the Google Docs link in the description where you can find the specific description for each point. Thank you for being with me and I'll meet you in the next video. Cheers!